Let's look at solving Advent of Code 2021, Day 1, Problem 1, in SNAP. The problem boils down to this. Take some numbers and count the number of times there's an increase between successive pairs. So from 199 to 200, that's an increase. 200 to 208, that's an increase. 210 to 200 is not an increase, that's a decrease. So there's seven increases in here. So let's grab these numbers, the test data, and copy. And then we'll go into Snap. And let's um, use a split to split those numbers. I'm using Control F, typing split. And here's a split. And then into here, I'm going to paste those numbers. And I'm going to split by word. Now, let me make my blocks a little bit bigger here. I think it'll look better. OK, and when I click it, we see we have a list of these 10 numbers. Great. Now, let's put this list into a variable. Here's variables. Click Make a Variable. We'll call it Numbers. There we have it. And now we want to set numbers to this list of numbers. And we click that. So now numbers is this list of 10 numbers. Great. Now we need to go through and count the number of increases. So we're going to compare 199 and 200. We're going to compare 200 and 208. So how can we do that? We need a way to loop over all these numbers. And the way I think we'll do it is with this kind of a for loop, where we create a little variable that takes on the values 1 to 10, since they're 10 numbers. And then we will just display the number in turn. We'll just do say hello for half a second. And we'll instead of hello, we'll say this number. So if I click this and watch over here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So here's our loop. This is a loop. It creates a variable called i. It gives it the values from 1 to 10. And because of the say, it displays them here. OK, so that's fine for the numbers from 1 to 10. But we're interested in getting the numbers out of this list. So let's look at variables and look at the things we can do with lists. Here's item something of something. So item something of the list. Back to variables. Here's our number list. So item one of numbers, we're going to need that. And remember, we're, we're comparing two at a time. So we're going to need the, the item um, at i, and we're going to need the item at i plus 1. So see what I'm doing there. Then I'm going to duplicate this. I just uh, right clicked. If you're, if you're on a Mac and you don't have a two-button mouse, or you don't know how to configure it to work, as a two-button mouse, you can hold down the control key and click, and that'll bring up this menu, and we can duplicate. Okay, so item i and item i plus 1. So control F, looking for a plus. Here's a plus. Item i plus 1 now goes here. Okay, very good. So these now are going to go inside here somehow. We want to compare them. We want to know, is 200 bigger than 199? Is the number at numbers sub i plus 1 greater than the number at numbers sub i? Let's grab a greater than relational operator here. And we want to know whether this second one is greater than the first one. Okay, so I suppose we could throw in another say here. And we'll just say whatever this produces for 0 0.5 seconds. Actually, one second, so we can study a little bit better. And look what's happening. It's showing trues and falses. It's showing these Boolean values. Let's run it again. True, 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 false, true, 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 false, 
true. That should be seven trues. There were seven times when the second number in the pair was greater than the first number in the pair. So how can we finish this so that we count how many numbers there are actually, uh, how many times we actually increased? Well, one way would be to create another variable to count those. And um, let's do that. Variables, make a variable. And we can call this number of increases or just increases for short. And at the beginning, we'll set that to zero, although I think it is automatically set to zero. And then here in the loop, instead of saying this Boolean value, we want to use it in an if. So let's search for if. This is what we want. So if the second number is greater than the first number, then we want to add one to this variable here, increases. So we want to change increases by one. And if I click this, the numbers disappear from here, but it leaves increases. And when I run this block of code, uh, notice this goes up to seven. So through the loop, we compared each pair of items. And for each time the second in the pair was greater than the first in the pair, we added one to increases. And then um, at the end, we could do a a say of the answer here. So we could say, go to variables now, increases. So now when we run this, it just gives us the answer. And I could hide this too. Okay, program's done. We put our numbers in here, split them by word. Now we have a list. We set our counter to zero. We set up a loop. Oh, so let's say you didn't have 10 numbers. This would have to change, but can we get the number 10 from numbers somehow? Well, let's see if there is a length of list, and there is. So we're interested in the length of numbers. And the length of numbers, um, which I can, if I just put this out here, uh, whoops, I duplicated the wrong thing. Duplicate this. If I just click on length of numbers, it should say 10 because they're 10 numbers. So this, this block that I put in here is acting just the same as a 10. The only difference is if I were to have more numbers in here, like a thousand of them or 2000, then this number would be however many there are. Okay, so we run this. Great. One other thing I think might be nice to do, let's just put this all in a block. We'll make a reporter block and we'll call it um, number increases. And then I'll just drag all this code in here. And we'll get rid of the say and we'll just have a report. Okay. And now Here's the block we made. I can put that in here. And now, when we click it, uh, it doesn't work. Okay, so what have I broken? Oh, yeah, you should see the problem right here. What goes here? What is it that this reporter block is supposed to be reporting? It's supposed to be reporting increases. So since this is in a block now, we really ought to use script variables instead of these. Um, but I think I won't do that now. I'm just going to grab increases from here and report that. And let's see, let's see if that fixes this. There we go. There's the seven. Okay. If you understood this, that's great. I'll see you next time.